Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, isn't it beautiful this morning? Yes, it is. Uh, some of us are even wearing jackets this morning. That's awesome. Hey, listen, 100% uh, of you received a gospel track for me, from me. So I'm going to keep my message very brief. He did not die for the good man because the Bible says there's no one good. There's no one even righteous. But he died for the humble, the ungodly people that would get down on their knees and say, I am a wretched sinner, especially me, I'm pointing at me, and I need a Savior. I need salvation. And it says right here in Romans chapter 5, For when we were still, again, this is to Christians, For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Those that would humble themselves and put their faith and trust in Christ alone for salvation. Verse 7, for scarcely for a righteous man one will die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. Now listen to this verse. This verse, verse 8, is so encouraging. Oh, wow. It's for Christians. It says, But God demonstrates His own love towards us, and that yet while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He died for His church. Who's the us? The us are those that God the Father chose to be His elect. And then Christ redeemed them. And then the third person of the Holy Trinity regenerated their heart, known as the spiritual circumcision. And if you're not saved today, perhaps you can be one of those that are the us, that become saved. Verse 9, Much more than having now been justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath through Him. Wow! Wow! This word justified is a legal term with forensic value. That Christ justified my sins to the Father. On behalf of me, Christ paid my sin debt. What I deserve is death, judgment, and hell. But Christ paid my sin debt. Justification, the doctrine. And then what did He save me from? It says right here, He saved me from wrath. Because Jesus Christ absorbed the wrath that I deserve. God the Father poured out His cup of wrath upon His Son, Jesus Christ. It's the wrath that I deserve for an eternity. It's known as the doctrine of the substitutionary atonement, where Jesus Christ atoned for my sins. My sins were transferred to Christ, and then Christ's righteousness was then imputed over to me. Verse 10, For if we were... For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, much having been much having much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. Before I was saved, folks, I was an enemy of the cross. I was an enemy of Christ. The Bible says so. I was an enmity with God. And He reconciled me to the Father. The only way that we can be reconciled to God, the Father, is through God, the Son, Jesus Christ. And again, all of you have a gospel track. The law of God is on the track as well as the gospel. The law is the schoolmaster, the tutor, which reveals our sickness, our need for salvation, our need for a Savior. The gospel is the remedy, the good news, the grace, the love and mercy of God. So would you please cry out upon the name of the Lord Jesus and call out to Him for salvation and do that before it's too late. Respond to that gospel, folks. Respond to that gospel call. Does anybody have any comments? If so, raise your hand. I'll be more than happy to, to try to answer your questions. Father, I just thank You so much, Lord. I pray, God, this message would honor You. I pray that Christ was exalted. I pray that Your Holy Spirit will fertilize the soil and renew the minds of the people in this line. Lord, those that are Christians, they are Your bride. They belong to Your bride of Christ. Those that are already saved here, I pray that You would exhort them and encourage them and edify them. I pray, God, that those that are not saved, Lord, that, that today would be the day of salvation. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless. I'll stick around a few minutes if anybody has any questions, though. How you doing? I'm blessed. Highly favored. Blessed by the best. Thank oh, you for your mighty word. It encouraged me. Um, I love to see my brothers and sisters encouraging others. Number one, we must pray to the Father, God the Father, the first person of the Trinity. And we pray through the Son, Jesus Christ. He is the intercessor because Jesus Christ right now sits at the right hand of the Father where He will intercede on your behalf if you become saved. 
It says in 1 John 1, 9, that if we confess our sins to the Lord Jesus Christ, He is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all of your unrighteousness. That's a promise to Christians. He doesn't do that for non-Christians. I'm just going to be honest with you. But if you become saved, He will do that for you. And then we pray in the Holy Spirit. You see the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And secondly, we must pray according to His will. It's important to pray, Lord, let your will be done. In January, I had three cardiac arrests. I was hospitalized for a while. I had some surgery, a couple of procedures. Now I've got a pacemaker and a built-in defibrillator in my chest. And I, my number one prayer was, Lord, let your will be done, not mine. I, I can't pray selfishly. God, if you want to take me home, take me. Glory. But if you want me to be here and still continue to preach your gospel, glory. Praise God for that too. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord God, for those people here that need uh, answered prayers for your health. We pray according to your will, Lord God, that you would find favor on them and give them health and strength. Lord, most importantly, we pray for their salvation. I would rather be unhealthy and go to heaven for an eternity than be healthy and die today and go to hell for the rest of my life. So I pray for their salvation, most importantly. All right, that concludes today's church service. Now the ushers are going to move forward to collect the offerings. Well, come on, guys. That was a joke. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> All right, I'm kidding you. God bless you all. You take care. All right. Bye, miss. Thank you. Iron sharpens iron.